Hallelujah, hallelujah, my people of God. Good afternoon, good morning, depends on the place you are. I bless God for what he has done for us. We thank God because there's no one like him. Hallelujah to the most high God. My people of God, I thank, I talk, thank God Almighty. Because with God, us is possible. There's nothing God cannot do. So before I start, people of God, let's pray. Let's close our eyes. I pray. Almighty God, King of King, Lord of Lord, my Father, my Lord Almighty, I ask for learning where we have sinned against you, Lord. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. Your words say, Prayer of a sinner. Yes, abomination unto you, O Lord, so that we have not sinned. The truth is not in us, Lord, we ask for your mercy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I'm here again, O Lord, to speak your word to your children. To speak your word, O Lord, that we encourage every one of us, O Lord. This word I'm going to speak, O Lord, may it dwell in me, O Lord. May it give me encouragement and others, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I disappear, you appear. Speak out of me to your children. I let this word go far in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, my people of God. I bless God for his word. And God is almighty, is ever faithful. There is no one like him. He's the King of kings, the Lord of lords. I just want to use this word to encourage ourselves. No, no matter the situation you are passing through, no matter the trial you are passing through, no matter battles in your marriage, in your, in, the, in, in your children's life, in any issue of life, the Lord is watching you. The Lord is looking at you. You that have known Jesus Christ, you that accept the Lord Almighty, the Lord is watching at you, is watching you, and is with you. But the Lord, what on that I love about the Most High God is that the Lord will never give us a temptation that is greater than us. We shall overcome it. Whatever we pass our sin ourselves in any situation, the Lord will give us this grace to overcome it. So, people of God, let's learn how to trust on God. Not because of that sort of situation, because of that battle in your marriage, because of that battle in your issue of life, you will say you will not serve God again. I am tired. My God is not with me. You are a liar. The Lord is with you. Trials must come, but you have to be, be careful. You have to use wisdom, and the Lord will give us the grace to overcome it in the name of Jesus. So I want to read this verse for us. First, first Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Hallelujah. He said, there has no temptation taking you but church as common. Hallelujah. To man. But God is faithful. Hallelujah. God is faithful. Temptation is come to man, but we will look at it as common. You look at it as this is too hard for me. It's too hard for, but in God Almighty is still faithful. That temptation must come, but trust in the Lord that God is still there. God is still faithful. He's ever faithful. He must come. Trial must come. He must pass pain. You must pass issue. You must tears, yes, but it must happen. But trust on the Lord. The Lord is faithful. That is what he said. God, he said, but God is faithful. Hallelujah. Who will not suffer you to be tempted? You see, he will not suffer you to be tempted above, above that you are able. Hallelujah. But with, with, we, with, with, but with, with the transition also make a way to escape that ye may be able to beat it. Hallelujah. That ye may be able to bear it. Hallelujah. You can see it. There's this word verse is telling us that there's no temptation that God will give you that is above that temptation. You must overcome it. The Lord must make you to overcome that temptation. There's no issue in your life. There's no battle you are lost by passing through. The Lord must let you to pass over. You must fight a serious battle. Yes. Especially you that are not Jesus Christ. You that are served the Lord Jesus Christ because you are not, you are, you are the light of the world. The light of God is dead. But the devil must use people. The devil must use people to make you to cry. To make you to say, where is that God? Your God is faithful. My God is faithful. He's ever faithful. I will not renounce because of my situation. I'm advising you, dear people of God. Whatever you are passing, you don't renounce. Have hope in God. Trust in the Lord. The Lord will fight your battle. The Lord will deliver every battle that we are fighting in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will make us to escape every issue battle. The battle that we look, we look at ourselves, say, God, where are you? God is there. With God, all things are possible. Trust in the Lord. Hope on the Lord. Believe in the Lord. And the Lord. We fight your battle. And we fight for me and fight for you. As you do so, my people of God, God bless you. Remember, the Lord, there is no temptation. The Lord will not, that, that is bigger than you. The Lord will must make you to overcome me by His grace. But trust in the Lord. Believe in the Lord. Don't deny God because of that your issue of life. Don't deny God because of that battle. The Lord is still God and is ever God. Remember the goodness of God. Remember the protection of God. So you cannot say you cannot receive.
receive evil from God. You must receive evil. You receive good, you must receive evil. That is what Job was saying. Don't you receive evil and good? If you receive evil, thank God. If you receive good, hallelujah to the most high God. God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming soon, very soon, very soon. Let's repent for sin. It's our sin that the Lord Almighty ate. He did not hate us, so let's run for sin. As we do so, God will bless you all in Jesus' name. Shalom, my people of God. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Bye-bye.